Logan Paul has just spent $200,000 on a first edition base set booster box after he spent $60,000 on some first edition base set PSA cards. I think he's also took a briefcase of cash to one of the one of the biggest Pokemon collectors uh, out there. So this guy's going pretty hard right now. So in this video, we're going to talk all about it. And I brought some special guests as well. All right, here we go. Greater Gem. Let's go. How you guys doing? How's it going? Hi, mate. How you doing? Good, man. Back on the channel yet again. I thought, you know, I thought I've already done a video speaking about Logan and Logan's collection and his purchase. He's just gone and trumped his other purchase by more than two times um so i thought you know what let's get some heavy hitters in the game let's get grady gem on the uh, the best the best um grading service in the uk to get your cards to psa so yeah two hundred thousand is what logan spent on the uh on the box i think i remember watching i watched the live stream of that heritage auction because i knew that the box was going to be sold on that on that block um and i was watching it with a bunch of people and i think uh at the time no one really thought much of it and then a couple a week later there's a rumor of it being logan who purchased the box so I've, I've been in Logan's DMs recently chatting. I messaged him and he just didn't reply. I, I said to him, rumor, rumors it, the rumors are you've just bought this box. He just didn't reply. Yeah. And then after he posted on his Instagram, which I'll just show you everyone right now, that he has purchased it. I was like, all right, let me message him now. And then yeah, he just replied straight away like, yeah, boy. I'm not sure what he said for the box, but I'm pretty sure I think people are saying that he's going to open it and do some sort of box break or something. So we'll see what he's going to do um, with the box, but it's Pretty insane, right, guys, to spend this much on on cards. Pocket change, mate. I mean, for him, it is, it is pocket change. That's, that's the reality. Like, it is just yeah. pocket change. Yeah, um, but even he has to think about a purchase for 200 grand, right? You, yeah. It, maybe. 200 grand is still a big statement to invest in a little box yeah. of Pokemon cards, right? It is a sick video, though. It's going to be it a sick video. Like, I, mean, I mean... What do you think of him opening it? I think that... I think, again, because you... What, because he's got enough money that he to just to just throw at this box, I don't think he needs to let it sit there and you know invest in. Yeah, and I think to be sense. honest, if he is going to invest in something, I think him him buying it, opening it, and showing a video on it will hype the box up even more. So then he could probably he might have bought a couple. He may have bought more than we know. This is a, this is a publicly <laughs> sold imagine? one. We saw him go to Gary Gary from Porn Stars with a with a briefcase full of cash that like he could have bought ridiculous amounts of boxes and stuff and then and then hype this one up and then in a, in a you know in a month be like oh this box is 300k now i'll sell you one so imagine if all these prices have been like his master plan he's just been like yeah. stacking what's he first edition booster boxes and then he's just gone out there dropped publicly 200 grand on a box and then just been like yeah yeah well i've got a few boxes if you want them yeah for sure that could be the reality but i think um i think the main obviously we, we could talk for hours we, we just we just spoke for two hours before we even pressed record um yeah, exactly. but <laughs> I want to kind of like touch on a few a few points in, in the video, really. The, the first one, the title of this video is going to be like, is this a smart investment? Now, obviously, now I, I say on my channel all the time, I don't want to give people investment advice, nor do you guys as well. I'm never going to tell someone to buy a card or don't buy a card. I can show what I'm buying. I can show what, you know, I can show price increases or decreases or whatever, but I never, end of the day, will say, you know, this is a good investment or not to somebody. But someone like Logan buying a box, I think we can just, you know, we can talk about that. You know, whatever we say won't affect his <laughs> opinion but he's already gone and done it um, care, no. but do you think the first edition I mean, first edition base is it's a good purchase and it has to be yeah and especially for him and his profile like him just putting it publicly out there i mean it was it's the box it's the holy grail box to mm. get yeah. in the hobby and you're linking it up with someone with his profile. How many how many Instagram followers does he have? It's like 18.2 million. 18. 18. 2 million. I'm looking at it now. 18.2 <sighs> million. And that's just a stupid number of people. And he's just posted it publicly and gone, oh, yeah, I bought this box. Like, yeah. Could you have imagined that I, this was far away? If you look through the comment section, everyone's got a blue tick and everyone's interested. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's, it, I remember three years ago when I first started coming back into the community in terms of the, in terms of the grading side. You know, a, a lot of people had like binders back in the day. You know, rare cards and stuff. But it, they're just a collection at the end of the day. No one really thought grading was a possibility, or no one ever thought that you know my cards are worth something to somebody or anything like that. So I remember getting back into the craze or, or, or into the hobby at the Pokemon Go craze. That that was the last big any collector you talk to. That that's the last big increase in price, right? You, Pokemon Go and then now COVID and then now probably Logan Paul so it's like I remember back then we were th I was in the same boat that I'm in now like oh man cars are going to go up cars are going to start being unaffordable but if you show me any of these WotC cards 
and, and or, or often the end of the WotC cards, the prices that they were in 2016, when everyone thought they were increasing, you would have bit their hands off. Like now, I'd, I'd, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So who's to say that we won't do that in another three years, in four or five years? I think first edition base, end of the day, is the first ever, first ever box. We never got it in the UK at all. I think according to people in, the, in America, that used to be a myth for them. Like everyone was like, this doesn't exist. Like no one even knew it existed back in the day. It was like a rumor that a first edition existed. So all things considered, why is it, why is it only not taking this much time for it to be worth this amount of money? In theory, you know, it's always... It's, it's rare, it's desirable. Yeah. Everyone wants it. It's the top of its hobby. Like, to be fair, it could be worth a million dollars, right? Like, yeah. if we look at other yeah. hobbies and we look at other Chase cards and other Chase TCG and other Chase boxes, why couldn't it be worth a million? Yeah, why, well, the why Mickey Mantle un card or a Babe Ruth card or anything like that, 2.9 mil. Yeah. $2.9 yeah. million dollars for one card. And you're getting a box full of these first edition cards, mm. which kids are sentimental over. Well, I'm sentimental over. You yeah. guys are. Um, like everyone who watches this is sentimental over those cards, those specific ones in that box. And you've just been able to pick them up for 200K, which, by the way, is it, is it twice as high as the previous sold one? Yeah. And um, I think, and to be honest, to be completely honest, if you cracked that box, graded every single card out of it, I wouldn't be surprised to see if you maybe not broke even but you would be close if you're looking at Charmander's now watch, first edition Charmander's like $2,000 or £2,000 it's, it's, it's crazy you can get that in a, you, know, you can get you can get Bulbasaur Squirrel and Charles uh, Charmander in a pack if, if you got lucky you know if Logan wants to grade them graded gem US is a uh, place on. to go do you know what I mean Logan bro <laughs> if you need to get these cards graded then yeah hit my yeah. guys up um, <laughs> I, I think I think yeah it's just it's, it's, it's always my issue with a lot of my purchases in the past especially with, say, the EX era or, or, or mm. Neo, Destiny, etc. I always were like, was like, these cars are affordable. I could buy them right now, but I'm focused on other parts of my collection. I'll just wait a bit. They're going to always, you know, they're going to always be worth that much money or if they're going to rise, they're going to rise a little bit, but that's not the case, you know. Well, just, no one would have seen like 400% growth. Like, that's just, it's silly growth. Where else are you seeing that? Like, you know, 10, 12%, 25%, if that grows by that, then you just go, oh, I'll, I'll pay it. It's a bit of a premium, but I'll pay it. 400 percent yeah I'm, like that's just it's it's crazy on a grand i don't know what the maths is but what's the maths it's five grand five grand it's five <laughs> grand i was gonna buy it for a grand and now it's five grand yeah like it's it's not for the same card the same thing it doesn't it almost feels injustice doesn't it? It, just, well, it doesn't make sense if you compare it to anything else they've gone up faster than the price of freddo's <laughs> right. yeah. I think nah. people people are starting to say like I think non Pokemon people or even Pokemon people in the Pokemon community are starting to say like they're starting to talk about this as Bitcoin. I've literally heard people say this is yeah. the new Bitcoin. And I think at that point, for all the viewers listening, that's where it does get a little bit worrying because I think in the Pokemon Go craze or the Pokemon Go's Go boom, everyone's saying this is a bubble, this is going to pop, everything's going to drop. But if you think about it at the time, who are the Pokemon Go fans? They're Pokemon fans, aren't they? They're coming into the game because they like Pokemon. They're catching Charizard yeah. again. They want to go and buy the new people that come into the game. You know, what's a Charizard? I just caught one of my game. I want to go and get the card for it now. You know, that like natural, it's Pokemon promoting Pokemon. But now you're yeah. starting to see Gary V come into it, Logan Paul come into it. And obviously, Gary V, like his main ethos in terms of like his social media presence is investing, is f flipping money, you know, buying, buying businesses, you know, social media ads. So I think now we're getting to the point where it is actually uncharted territory and it, it may be just people getting into it because of the value. And in that case, it's like, how long does that last? Because they're just flipping cash at this point. Well, not... in every market, you've got speculators. Mm -hmm. Like in the housing market and everything, like markets don't exist without speculation, without risk, <laughs> without hype men, without pessimism. Like, it, it, you know what I mean? It just, yeah, yeah. it just doesn't exist. Well, who's spending millions of dollars on sports cars besides people who have got millions of dollars just lying around spare? Yeah, well, yeah. I think... And do, they, yeah, walk into their mansion and be like, oh, here's my, here's my million yeah. pound card. I think oh, Cal, yeah, it's I next think... to my brand new Camaro from like <laughs> yeah, 52 yeah. or whatever. You're like, what? All, all things considered, this, this box for Logan is play money, I think. And like, mm. like you say, he will have thought about it. He's a smart, he's a smart guy, a smart businessman. Look what he's, yeah, look what he's yeah. managed to build through his, through his, you know, his content. But end of the day, I think it is just like a, you know, I'll buy that if I want it type of thing. And that's, that's the thing where other people need to, I think, understand what's happening with Pokemon now. And we'll get onto that maybe later with another, you know, segment or a question. Uh, yeah. But it's like, if Logan, Paul, if Logan Paul can do this, then there are going to be other people who can do this, who are at a higher, yeah. higher uh, pay grade than him, but also a lower one. Like, 
You know, I mean, he's he, this guy's got millions, man. You know, look what he's doing with his content. You know, the, the the fight with JJ you know, must have generated a lot of money. So it's kind of like there are pe- there are people who could afford this box that have less income and less disposable yeah. income as Logan, who yeah, may yeah. want to buy this box. And that's the thing that people re- need to realize: it's not just Logan. Everyone's getting into it. You know, everyone is starting to jump on Pokemon, go back and look at their cards, and be- and now because Logan's done it. Yet it will have an absolute tidal weight effect on the the entire community, whether they like it or not. And I guess that's probably going to be the next part we move on to is the Pokemon community. I think divided right now into two things: whether Logan Port is good for Pokemon. You've got one side where it's good for Pokemon because it's bringing more attention to it. You know, it's bringing more attention to our cards, but also Pokemon in general. Uh, more people are going to be opening packs, but also people are, I guess, upset slash jealous that now they're not going to be able to afford the cards that they wanted to get and it's going to cause whether it's authentic or not it's going to cause an in- a mad increase in prices if you can't afford it now you couldn't afford it yesterday like and we i know last time we laughed at you for saying that i mean quite yeah, yeah at the end of the day <laughs> unfortunately if something is you know if it's out of reach but at the end of the day when i first entered the hobby i had a chance to buy the base set first edition charizard for five thousand dollars uh, but I couldn't at the time because it was too unaffordable, just as it is unaffordable now mm, at exactly. hundred thousand dollars for me. Like it, 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 it. That's just the case. And obviously, people have seen this mad growth. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I think it's better. And I, I would argue anyone who says otherwise. Obviously, people are caught out. Yeah, the fact that the price has risen so dramatically. If you bought or sold a card in that time, risk straight away. Yeah, uh, you could have lost thousands. At the same time, you could have mm. gained thousands. It was massive. Um, I, I I think it's good. I think the more people, the better. I think Pokemon cards, Pokemon TCG needs to have this highlight. The work you're doing is bringing in more and more people. The amount of people who submit and they're like, oh, Randolph sent me over. <laughs> it's good to see. Yeah. Like, it's great. I, I And that's exactly the sort of like massive community that there yeah. is out there. Um, and obviously, the more that they uh, talk to Graded Gem and talk to Randolph Pokemon, the better. Well, I, I think yeah. it's wicked. I've seen so many comments on Facebook, and I think there is like I I think it's great. I think there's a lot of bad blood still towards Logan, about especially with people maybe our age, maybe a bit older, that yeah. haven't kind of seen his growth because Logan started off, and we all know he was a bit like dodge, like yeah, that happened. <laughs> but me and me and Connor now, when we're like, for example, if we're pre-graded at ten, eleven o'clock of a night, we'll stick a Logan Paul video yeah. on whilst we're watching it because it's funny. Like, he's genuinely grown up so much. And do you know what? If he wants to go and relive his childhood by opening a base set booster box, psh, go ahead, mate. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And I mean, I guess there's all there's different levels to it. Like, I, I agree with what you're saying. I, I'm, I mean, you know, me, me being like, well, JJ is one of JJ's best friends uh, and obviously being a complete Snake. enemy of Logan Paul at one point. <laughs> but I think a lot, of the, a lot, yeah, after the, after the fight, it's kind of like, that's kind of sizzled out, even between Logan and JJ. Like, Joe, Logan and JJ have a rivalry now still, but it's more like, who can make the better video, you know, who can do the bigger thing rather than like, I don't, I don't think either of them hate each other. Whereas, you know, no. Jake Paul on the, on the other hand, yeah, it's, it's a different territory, but I think... If he buys a base at Booster Box, <laughs> no one invests in that set ever again. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, leaving, I'm quitting Pokemon if Jake Paul buys a box. Yeah. Don't quote him on that because he will do it. He probably will do it now just to, just to piss off Logan. But no, I think those who don't like Logan as a creator or as a person, that's fine. Like if, you, if, you're, if you're upset at Logan buying a ball because he's Logan, uh, sorry, buying a ball, buying a box because it's Logan, that's fine. But... If you're, I think, I think if you're upset by about a high-profile person shining a light on Pokemon, what we all love, then I think it can, it, it's, it's, it's a good thing, really. And yes, like obviously, I'm saying that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose cards now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna there's cards that I want to buy that I can now not buy. My Neo set, uh, my, my gym challenge set. I'm trying to, you know, upgrade to ten. Is just getting more and more expensive every day. The char- I, I literally had like a sale lined up the other day for like a PSA ten. Blaine's Charizard just gone now. Someone else bought it quick. You know, I was going to buy a base set box for the channel. Someone else bought that at like almost double what I was going to pay for it. So I'm, I'm missing out on some things as well. But I'm looking at the bigger picture and I'm looking at, you know, what Logan can do for the, the hobby. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to create a channel where, you know, where I just, I, you know, I open packs, modern packs, I grade modern packs. You know, I, I play the game. Like the more people look looking at what I'm interested in, then the better, you know, end of the day. Yeah, I think. Logan's not the only one as well. I mean, mm. Justin Bieber was putting on his story, right? About his Pokemon card frame. Two like, years ago. Something like yeah, that. Like those kind of people still love Pokemon because they're our age. Celebrities that are our age will love Pokemon. There's like exactly. no questions about it unless they grow up under a rock. <laughs> like they knew what Pokemon yeah, they was still went to everyone school. loved it. They still had friends. They, they were, were still st- on Onyx. Yeah, they were still trading, weren't they? They were still trading cards. Yeah. yeah. They still had their binders. And at the end of the day, these guys have been very successful in what they've done. Mm. So therefore, who says, like you said, why can't they go and buy 
what they want to buy. Mm-hmm. I think the extraordinary thing for us is just like seeing it on his Instagram. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Like seeing it like that. Yeah. Like, we kind of expect for someone of that profile, it'd be kind of a closet purchase. You'd be like, you know, I bought, I bought a yeah. box. Yeah. Or, or what's he got? He's got his, um, his podcast thing. Maybe Impulsive. he like bought it on as in a segment in that maybe. Yep. Mm. Like yep. have it so mainstream and pushed to the forefront was a surprise. Like, well, well, it's gonna it's, it's gonna go even more. We're so, we're speaking at this at a point where he's just bought the box. I know for a fact mm. that he's he's making a video or making a vlog of him buying the first set of cards he bought, buying the box. He got you see his dog like ate his PSA nine Charizard Unlimited card. That's part of the story. He's, he's, he's flown out to Gary from Porn Stars, you know, who has probably got one of the biggest Charizard collections in the world, maybe the biggest. Yeah. So he's not doing this. He's doing it for fun for sure, but he's also taking his his crew with him, his his camera crew. So we might be sat here in a week. With another video and another video, and um, it might seem annoying for everyone to hear me and the guys speak about Logan, but this is probably the this is probably the biggest thing to ever happen to the TCG. Yeah, ever and really? really? It, it, yeah, it's a, it's another level of people being allowed to collect Pokemon TCG without being scared. Yes, like, uh, yes. When when people saw you, they were like, "Oh, cool! I can talk about this more openly." And now Logan Paul, like he's actually you know you know he's got a big profile, yeah, and people are going to be like. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. If he's interested in it, then everyone else will be interested. It's how popularity yeah. works, right? Did, did you see the well, story? Sorry, go on. Oh, I'm waiting to tell someone now what my job is. I work with Pokemon cards and then go, oh, yeah. yeah. Rather than go, what? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's usually, it's like, what you want about? Whereas now they're going to be like, oh, that's what, though. Everyone's into, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I, I started my channel as a way to kind of like de-stress from the whole music and the whole like clout side of YouTube and my main channel. Mm. I just did it to open packs, record them for fun. It was completely a hobby. Then the next minute, people are wanting me to sell me their, my cards to them as like duplicates. Then I've got a store that I'm selling like sealed products. And now, looking at it a year later, like this is now probably my main thing that I do. It went from a complete like side project and just for fun to, you know, one of my literally my main main aspects of my, of my business. And that's 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 I, mean, I guess credit to me for like the, the work I put into it. But that's not just me. That's people like Logan, Gary V, drawing up interest. It's Pokemon themselves putting more Charizards in sets, which is a different topic. Yeah. You go go and, go and watch Creator Gems videos about the Charizard tax and the uh, the effect of Charizard. Very interesting <laughs> to listen to and watch. Um, so you know everything everything's trending up and it's uh it's it's all it's all snowballing and I think it's not Logan coming in. It's not just Gary V coming in. Everyone's coming in. And I think what you said a minute ago, yeah. Tom, is a very good point that people have been buying Pokemon cards under the radar you know yeah that we, they haven't done it publicly but what logan's doing now is he's making it public like pokemon was a side thing like i said but now i'm tempted to you know my instagram post my collection on my main instagram you know make a tiktok where i start opening packs on my per, my, my main tiktok you know it's now going into a thing where it's like oh a little side thing to actual trendy thing which is which is only only it's only a good thing man um it's great it's great to see to be fair this year you've had like because i remember you having a conversation we had the pokemon store and stuff you were like <laughs> Yeah, I really get into Pokemon and it's all cool and like open posters and I'm just doing it as a side thing. And yeah, now, yeah. like you said, you've got this, you've got this whole empire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, like it's really, really good to see it and how the channel's like grown and the amount of guys like from our little community, like, like oh, go, have you seen what Randolph's done? Yeah, and then Randolph and like it's really impressive and it's it's great to see from yourself and you're bringing in so many people as well. I don't think that should be understated. For sure, and I think a lot of the people, well, a lot of people were mad at me getting into it, just little old me, but then now you've got Logan Paul doing the same thing I'm doing. He did an Instagram yeah. story where it was like, anyone who's got ungraded cards, like, contact me, I'm going to buy buy them out. So Logan, he's probably going to, he's probably can afford to take the risk and just buy every binder he gets to find some hidden gems in there. So it is, it is going to be a problem for a lot of the collectors out there, but Pokemon isn't always, and I, I said this on, you know, your trading card talk as well, I think Pokemon isn't always the vintage stuff like you have to i think now more, now more than ever like i said to you earlier is that i think the message that i will tell people is just collect what you enjoy like buy yeah. collect and open the cards you enjoy because that's how it started like the reason everyone's going crazy for the old stuff is because when they were younger they were making memories opening these cards but it's like at what point do you pay for that nostalgia like you know what i'm saying like do i want to do i want to spend right. 10 grand on my nostalgia or do i want to make new memories you know the great thing with Pokemon cards is there's so many levels. Like you can yeah. buy bad condition stuff. You yeah. can buy stuff from two, three years ago. You can buy stuff from four, five years ago. Like you can buy a Pokemon card or you know invest or collect or whatever at any level you want to. You don't have to be abided by. Oh, I have to buy base set first edition. Oh. At the end of the day, 
we can't collect that sort of stuff now. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it did that stuff is left to the well, it's like Randolph just said, like, people are going, Oh, are you are you still open these packs? That's why I want these. Well, go buy a booster box of Darkness yeah. of Blaze, yeah, from Pokey Run. Uh, and then <laughs> open on. that, and then you're gonna have the same memories. Do you know what I mean? You are, yeah. yeah. In, the, in the cards, the, the flashier now, you know, and you, in the end of the day, the reason I think the, the sole reason. Pokemon is the TCG is starting to become what it is now is because of the grading aspects of it. You know what what you guys yeah. do because you take a card, you take a card like this, and it's really really cool, really looking nice looking card. But if you can slab that up and have it in the back like you guys uh, have got yeah. there on a you yeah, they, like <laughs> there you there go. You go. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Like Thank one. you. Yeah, yeah. My I was for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just sort of sort of flexing. Um, but now, like you know, they want people want stabs. They want, we want art pieces, you know. And you don't have mm. to buy a first edition Charizard to have the art piece because you can just buy the new one, buy the V Max. You know what I'm saying? Grade that. You know, it's it's still the same, still the same feeling, still the same like feeling of accomplishment. I've got a card out of a pack. I've graded it with a graded gem, and now now it's a part of my like my flipping like wall. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a part of their physical yeah. life. So it's still a great story, and you don't have to pay hundreds of thousands like Logan is to do that. And that's why I think. I think people just need to, like you said, Tom, like there's always, there's always going to be a car that you can't afford. Someone's always going to have yeah. a, like a bigger car than you, bigger house than you. It is what it is. That's just life, you know? And uh, if you couldn't afford it like yesterday or what, I don't know what the saying was, but yeah. if you weren't going to buy that box yesterday, then, <laughs> then you can't be mad at Logan for doing it. Yeah. I can't be mad that I can't buy a Lamborghini tomorrow because I bought my Seat. Don't yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's the it's my car. It's what I can afford. I I I can't be angry about the guy next to me because the guy behind me is on a bicycle going. Damn! I wish I had his seat. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's very yeah. true. Actually, very true. So I think the best the best way forward for anyone watching this who is thinking, oh man, like what am I going to do now? Like it's just make new memories. Like my my brother is starting just opening like Darkness of Blades with his daughter and like doing what my mum did for us back in the day by sitting next to us, you know, putting these cards into binders, organizing them. He's doing what. What, what we were doing, you know, with his daughter. But then the difference is now is that the grading exists now. Like, imagine if grading existed back when first edition base came out. I think it would be a little bit of a different story because... Um, well, they'd you'd have copies of graded cards everywhere, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Like, everyone who'd opened them up would send them straight in. Like, nowadays, as soon as a new set comes out, we get bombarded yeah. with, like... Uh, the Rillaboom, was it in the last one? The oh, Vmax. Not Rillaboom. Loved it. No, like, the Rillaboom Hyper. The, the gold Hyper. One. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got a few. I've still I, got a few of them. It, but then... I yeah. was like, I think I've seen 20 of these today. Well, and Champions like, Path came out like last week. Yeah, so yeah, for, yeah. for everyone, if this video, when this video comes out, it's like the last day of our deadline. Today, oh my gosh, we've seen that little set symbol so many times today. Yep. Mm. And what, damn. Which, which card is it the most? Was it, was it mostly Charizard uh, or was it other cards as well? I mean, we've seen a lot of the Charizard, the Charizard promo, but just like yeah. every uh, VMAX card, I know you said GX, every VMAX card in that set, every yep. hybrid, we've seen them all. And I keep going, oh, wait, I've seen this card before, but it's obviously the Japanese ones. So I'm like, yeah. oh, no, it's the Japanese path. This is English. Yeah, it's, 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 and that's what I like. That's what I really like to see in the community because I don't want people to be upset and I, need about, and I don't want to be upset about things I can't afford anymore. Who no. wants to be Who wants to be depressed that they can't afford something? It's like, yeah, okay, I can't afford that anymore. Move on, you know. I'll buy the 9 version, I'll buy the 8 version, or I'll just grade my Charizard that I packed yesterday, or I'll grade my Mewtwo that I packed today. You know, it's, it's yeah, just yeah. about the journey, really. And um, Give yourself accomplishable goals. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. important. Don't, don't give yourself goals which are just impossible to get because you get frustrated and annoyed. Hard, give yourself hard goals, you know, things that maybe are difficult to acquire, you know, but actually make them achievable for yourself mm. as well. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, it's, it's and I think I think with one thing as well is like you see now like the age we're at, we we are the generation Old. of people who are playing Pokemon, right? Like we like yes, that like obviously you've got older people collecting, you know, people like Gary, mm. but in the essence, we were the kids that were playing Pokemon Red, Blue, uh, Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, etc. That's that's us. Mm. So now you've got this whole like era of people our age starting to buy the cars, but you've also got these like massive YouTubers who are making like money that they don't know what to do with in their twenties and Pokemon was their thing. That's their childhood. They're yeah. going to buy it. Yeah. They're going to want to buy it. So we can't be surprised or we can't have been blindsided by this because L Logan, like, I, I can't imagine Logan sat there like defeating Sword and Shield the day it comes out, but he, no, he's got I a spot. <laughs> you think? Yeah, for a hundred percent. If I had millions of subscribers and the new Pokemon game come out, I'd be like, sorry guys, take him day off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I would, but whether he would, I don't know. <laughs> I think no, you I, did. 
I, I, yeah, I did. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did. I did. But I don't have millions of subscribers just yet. Just yet. I mean, you got AML. It's fine. So it's combined. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's true. Together. I think this. I think this Pokemon yeah. channel may may hit a million before my main channel at this point. I'd be happy for it to, to be fair. But yeah, I think. Uh, so would we. Great promo. I love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> but it's like you see, yeah, Max Mofo. Everyone knows Max Mofo. Probably, probably. I think view viewership wise, the biggest you know um, mm. card opener pack opener or also like collectible yeah, opener yeah. on youtube and he doesn't show what he's buying and i mean i know for a fact that you know he's he's buying he's buying promos he's buying old cards he's buying like graded cards he just ain't, ain't showing it so L- logan is one of the first person who one of the first people who are actually, actually like glamorizing it and hyping it up um so that's that's the problem i think that people are having with it um i, I, if, I think the problem is people don't want a collectible and a hobby to become any a stock yeah, they yeah. They don't want it to become a stock mm. exchange, or and and I totally get that. They don't want people watching the prices every single day, going, "Oh, my my card of the price went up five percent today." Yeah, but the hype is absolutely real. If you look yeah. at Instagram stories, then everyone's like, "Oh, will this card hit this?" They're going, "Will it hit twelve thousand or eleven? Yes or no?" You're like the polls. Yeah. But then, then you've got people with agendas. He'll be like, "Oh, I've got a copy of that card. Yeah. Um, let let's 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 show that on the stories. Let's push that. Oh, yeah. maybe someone will bid extra. Well, it's modern art, isn't it? Like yeah, it literally yeah. is yeah, modern yeah. art. You're gonna display this in your house now. You're not gonna just keep it tucked away. No. If someone comes around your house, like if so, it's like you said earlier. If someone comes around your house and goes, "Why have you got a Pokemon card on display?" Be like, "Because it's worth ten grand. Yeah. What do you mean? And I think, look, or, or you got the memories as well. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes, yes. Day, my memories are yeah, but that's what I mean. struggling to get these like, cards. No one's scared <laughs> of keeping them on display now. Do you know what I mean? Like, nah. someone comes around and you've got like a Monet on your wall. People don't go, oh, you got a Monet on your wall. You like, you like telling the story of the electrician. Oh, yeah. So, the, so electrician go. came around our house. Yeah. I was like, you guys are the Pokemon card guys, right? We were like, yeah, we are. And he was like, can can I send a video to my mates of, of the Shinings? Yeah. Um, he was like, he was getting them out. He was like doing zoom oh, and his it. phone and stuff. He's like, loving it. And he, he yeah. was gas. And then and then he changed our lights. <laughs> he <was> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Electables. Like we couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it, I think I, I, we should highlight it's here as well the, the, the more the, the, I guess the serious side of it that people are concerned about, which is, which is what you're saying, Connor. And I'm, I'm concerned about that as well. I, I don't mm. want it to become a, a, a hobby where people are just in it for the value and the value only. So that's why I said earlier. I think people are gonna start like people like Logan who or who follow Logan who may not be. He seems like a guy who doesn't enjoy Pokemon. You can tell that like, he's part of his childhood. It would be. It's, it's, it's our age type, type of thing, you know, yeah. a bit yeah. younger. Yeah, yeah. But it's natural. I think there are going to be a lot of people though who are coming into this as the Bitcoin thing, as like a way to make money. And that's where the danger is. And that's why, that's why I still say now, like I'm not going to give you investment advice. I'm not going to say to you, go and buy cards as an investment. Buy what you enjoy because I'll tell you, if I go and buy my, you know, my, the, shadow, the famous Shadowless Trials that I sold, yeah. if I go and buy that now and it does drop, I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit annoyed that I had to spend that much money when I could have spent this much money now. But I won't sell the card. I'll still keep the card because that's my card and I want that card. You know, it's got a story attached to it. Blah 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 blah. Get reholded, the... regretted gem. <laughs> get reholded, yeah. Modernize <laughs> it. But um, yeah, it's just, it, it, I, I just think that it's like, I don't know. I, I think, think for anyone who's been in the hobby for so many years, mm. having this many eyes on it is it is a bit unbelievable yeah and when we were discussing prices uh during our two-hour chat before this uh, <laughs> yeah. i i some of them i was just like oh, I, like but i literally in my mouth was what seriously uh, yeah SP on gx mm. innovates 300 quid 300 pounds i haven't been it in it as long yeah and i you... kind of predicted like yeah. as soon as i started seeing the growth i was like nah quarter of a million pound cards are coming mm-hmm like just because if I'm not comparing it to like four or five years ago, I'm comparing it to things like sports cards. Yeah. Like and sports cards got like Kylian Mbappe, 2018 is selling like a thousand dollars for a base prism, not yep. a special type of follow. Like it just come in like a normal pack. Yeah. Thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> yeah. Two years old. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's like a, a Luka, a Luka Doncic card. card, a basketball player card that's from 2018. Yeah, that's Doncic, like 250k man. or something, right? Yeah. So a Luka Doncic purple prism. We had one back the other day. PSA yeah. 10. One of the biggest value charges we've ever had. Oh, wow. Wow. Like, easy. Yeah. And I think yeah, it was. And we've Hope, had Crystal yeah. Charizard. Yeah. That was a 2018 <laughs> yeah. car. Yeah. Crystal yeah. Charizard, PSA 10. Big come close. And I think that, like, I, I, I do wonder what these cards now will be in mm. 20 years because it's still, I think, I, 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 I'll, I'll go to say, I think Evolutions has been printed more than Basic, right? Like, for sure. Surely. Oh, I like 
500 million times. Ice wasn't massively printed, but yeah, I, I yeah, would probably say, yeah. still get printed. Yeah, Evolution still get printed. <laughs> just, I just mean, end of it. Yeah. 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 Had a five year print run. So yeah. yeah I, I just, I just think that like Pokemon now is as the, the craze, the craze was big, obviously well, it was phenomenal back in the day. I'm not saying it's still the same as it is now, but I think, no, I think I think I am saying that. I think Pokemon Go was one of the biggest things in the world in our, in our, in our like generation or this new generation. Pokemon then, Go is the biggest cultural phenomenon in this millennium. Yeah, it was the catalyst to bring everyone yeah. back. Yeah, it brought everyone back. Everyone else went, "Oh, cool, this is wicked." People were walking back. literally <laughs> off cliffs playing Pokemon Go, and it, but it wasn't People even just Pokemon. It, it like, was people, you know. Yeah. It, it was non-Pokemon yeah. fans jumping onto this because they liked the game. It's not. It's not. It wasn't even. That's. I think that's what a lot of people at the time didn't understand. What we should have understood, kind of, is that like, it wasn't Pokemon fans. It was the world playing this game. It was the biggest app on the App Store. It was the highest grossing app ever. <laughs> At that point there, yeah, I should have been like, yo, bro, buy yeah. every buy every card you can find. <laughs> yeah, I walked get around I mean, you did. <laughs> a dodgy park in Birmingham at 2 a.m. Yeah. playing Pokemon Go with a bunch yeah. of friends. And we put, we bumped into this group and they looked like the kind of people that would leave you in a ditch, like for yeah, sure, yeah, for certain. Yeah. And they were like, yo, do you know where the spawns are? We were like, <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> what? Bro, the, okay. The, the sad one were playing it just for content, you know? Like, I mean, they were they're Pokemon fans, but still, like they were they were going going ham with it. It's just it was crazy. And then they're still going sword and shield i think i don't know if i said this in a previous video i think it's the fourth high one of the fourth fourth highest selling pokemon games ever i think it's just behind diamond and pearl it'll overtake them and then it's behind gold silver and red and blue it's like 23 million copies like worldwide or something or it's ridiculous numbers like you know i, I did I, I did a quiz today like someone's it was launched like just before covid yeah so yeah that, true. <laughs> i might have waited to a same as animal, animal crossing yeah, it's just yeah. this constant <laughs> debate of whether we're all underestimating Pokemon at every turn. Yeah, it's that constant debate of going, right? Has it reached mm. its peak yet? No, it still hasn't because this has happened. And I has... think I'm the opposite. Well, yeah, I'm maybe. like, yo, Pokemon's got a long way to go. I'm not going to give like advice on numbers. The only one that I've ever given numbers on is one that you you probably can't afford anyway. That Illustrator Pikachu will hit a million pound within yeah. the next five years. Oh, that's about two million dollars. So a million dollars, sorry, a million, yeah, a million dollars. dollars yeah. Like. Yeah. I think it's going to hit. And if you can afford it, then don't listen to me anyway because you're smarter than me. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. Like, again, I think right now the only inv investment advice I would give is buy first edition base if you can afford it. Like, you know, if Logan said, to, if Logan messaged me, like, yo, bro, should I buy this box? I'd say, yeah, buy that box. Like, pretty much buy it whatever you can get it at. Because not only are the issue is now is like, availability and if logan cracks that box that's one less first edition base box <laughs> so yeah, just purely in supply and demand terms that would naturally increase the price let alone the hype in general just the amount on the market you know so i think it is it is a scary thing having logan someone like logan into the hobby it is a worrying thing for sure but i think you have to just accept it because it, it, it has happened and you have to change your mindset if you want to first of all yeah. enjoy life collecting cards but also even if you are someone who is worried about the investments i mean to be fair end of the day if you're a collector who buys cards and logan's coming to the hobby it's going to make your cards worth more so it's, yes yeah. you're going to struggle to get the other ones but end of the day if you're purely here for the value your value has gone up you know <laughs> so but if you were an investor you were buying and selling you probably sold a lot of your stuff if you're a collector mm. you mm. probably kept a lot of your stuff exactly there you therefore go. you gain the most exactly. are you going to be angry if someone else goes and buys that box no but just because it's logan paul do you know what? he's still a fan of pokemon he's still yeah. like we've saw the impulsive podcast clips he's still gassed about being able to buy oh, this yeah right like if, if someone else is going to buy it and you're not going to moan why moan about logan doing it yeah, yeah sure he's got the money to do it like a lot of people don't but if i could go out there right now and buy a base <laughs> at first edition box oh. just to crack it for fun right, I, 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 <laughs> bro, come on yeah, yeah of course <laughs> Get some content out of it, get a few laughs, and absolutely like shit myself when I yeah. handle the card. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Like Logan's Logan's next Maverick merch drop will be bigger, a, a bigger income for him than this ever would be. Like you know, he, he yeah. he's here. He's believe it or not, he's here because he's a fan of Pokemon. Whether yeah. it's trending or not, whether he just wants to make a video, if he just wants to make a video, that's just life. That's just that's just Pokemon be, being popular, you know. And, we, and we've all contribute contribute to that. Even you know the the, the collectors out there who've got you know. Most collectors now are on Instagram, right? Promoting their collection. They are they are also a a reason why you know it is it, it's it's blowing up. Obviously on a different scale than Logan, but every everything matters. You know, if you if you influence one person with say you say you got five hundred followers and one person and you, you pack a Charizard from Champions Path, someone's gonna go and buy Champions Path. That's how it works. You know, so just because Logan's doing it and it's on a different scale, 
I don't, I don't, I don't want people to worry. I don't want people to panic, but I also don't want people to go and buy cars now because Logan's here because that's also dangerous at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Don't buy cards because someone else is doing it. Buy cards because you want to buy them. Yeah, and if you want a first edition Charizard PSA 10, then yeah, yeah then do it. But like, don't do it just because someone else has done it because, like I say, it might start to become a, become a bubble and it might just be people buying because it's money, you know? And uh, I think, like, Bitcoin, when, when Bitcoin was popping, like, I, I, I didn't buy that. I had no idea what was going to go on. And no, no one did. No one who bought that at the time, unless they were, like, serious, 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 like, statistical people, they wouldn't have known it. So, um, treat Pokemon. I'll start worrying when serious collectors start bailing out. Yeah. When serious collectors yeah. go, right, th- this money's stupid now. Yeah. So, I'm going to start, I'm going to sell my collection. That's when I'm concerned, because then I'm concerned that those people have left the hobby mm. and the people yes, who have bought yes. them, are just about the value. Yep. That so I think that that's an indicator I'm looking for. So mm-hmm. all the people that I spoke to three, four years ago and I'm Instagram following, if if I see them starting to dwindle their collections, selling yeah. more than usual, then I'm gonna be like, hmm, this doesn't look right. When but, does it hit that point though? I think well, it's if you can sell your collection and you can buy like a penthouse suite, if you can buy like a garage full of luxury cars. You know what I mean? Like you can do what you want, just off. Like if it gets that point within the next ten years, why do you stay in it? Yeah. Like if you're if you're a normal person, but there's always like, the like fear. There's job. the fear that if you bought a card for two thousand mm. dollars and it's gone to five and you love the card, then it could go to ten, and then you go right, I'm going to sell it here. Yeah, yeah. And then it's fifty in two years' time. Why if you can retire on that money? Yeah, or no, or, that's you, know, or you can you can have the you know you, you can have the five years you had with the card, accept that, cherish that, um, yeah. you know, and then. And then, I mean, yeah, I think, um, like I say, my, my, my brother now is, you know, he's, he's started, so I, I, I bought some cars with my brother. He's now going and buying every, every like ex- sun and moon booster box sealed and creating a sealed collection. So he's like, he's, he's taking what, what I, well, the, the price I paid for his car, he's now taking that and putting it into something new, something that he can enjoy with mm. his daughter and something he can build on in the future. And then the excess money, or whatever, he can use for whatever he needs with his life, with his house, or et cetera. So I think you are right, Tom, and I think you are also right, Connor. There's going to be a point where all these old school collectors are going to say, right, I've had my time with these cards. I've enjoyed these cards. Now I'm going to sell these for X amount of money and then put 50% of it back into the new stuff or to a different set or to a more undervalued set. I'm going to take that other money and put it into my house, into my deposit so I can live life. Because we do love Pokemon. It's definitely very close to our heart. But the reason we're here is because it's a hobby and it's like, if your day job isn't getting you to a point where you can, you know, afford to buy what you want to buy with, in, terms, in terms of a house or, you know, have a, have a child or anything like this, then it's going to be very tempting to actually put, you know, sell that, get on with your life and still have the entertainment of Pokemon cards. Because if you're, you know. You've got a wife and she's pregnant, like, and you've got 20 grand in Pokemon cards. You go, no, leave my cards alone. Like, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, she's going to yeah. be like, hmm. Sorry, priorities here, mate. Well, yeah. like, look, if you're in America and you've got a medical bill of $20,000, and you can sell one of your cards to make sure you're healthy. Yep. But then again, like if you you say about the hobbyists uh, leaving the scene, the people owning these top tier sports cards aren't hobbyists. Like not in the same way. If you've got three million dollar cards, yeah, I that's an investment. No, no, it's an investment, but they are hobbyists in the fact that they like to own these cards. They, they love players, like, they love basketball. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a mix. There's a they're, they're, that's they're what I mean. I don't think I'll ever truly run out of all the the Pokemon hobby. No, no, because definitely there's, not. There's too many rich ones. I mean, look at Logan. He could just keep the PSA 10 base at first edition and he'd be like, Haha, cool. Yeah, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and I, I think, just... uh, and again, it just goes back to the point that like, just collect what you enjoy, like buy cards to collect, you know, open packs to collect because you just can't lose. You cannot lose. Either they go down, it doesn't matter because you like the card. They go up, then great. What you've got is now worth more. If we go back to Connor's little flex here of this card, <laughs> yeah. we've had this discussion before. Connor has not earned any money mm. on this card. In fact, mm. you lost money buying this card. Yeah. You had to pay for this card and it's not going to earn you money because you're not going to sell it. Yeah. yeah. Like, so at the, your however many, I don't know how much you bought that card for or if you grabbed it yourself or whatever, but either way, you lost money on that card. And you know what? That's fine. You get to keep the card now. Yeah. And the intent, like the value there is intrinsic to Connor's collection. It's well, not due yeah, to whatever nothing. Pokemon price or eBay. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think just try not to put too much value on the value. That's all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're right. You're collecting mm. what you enjoy. If you do that, like I say, you can't lose. If that went down in price by 400%, 
I wouldn't care. Mm. Like it's it's something that I collected. I enjoyed collecting. I enjoyed stifling the pennies away to be able yeah. to eventually afford. Yeah, that's the story. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Go and subscribe to Graded Gem as well. Let's let's. Does it, we filmed a lot of videos at the Graded Gem HQ where I was submitting cards. They're not coming out just yet. They're going to come out kind of like sporadically as we start to get more cards back. But in those videos, we were, we were pushing Greater Gem to 10k. So we're going to do the same in this video that may come out before those videos. So go to the channel, watch the videos. I mean, your, your guys' videos is just, they get, they're getting better and better every day. And the information in them is insane. And the submissions and returns, I mean, you, they, they posted a three hour <laughs> submission the other day. So if you guys want to go and sit and watch three, well, three hours worth of cards, Pokemon cards being submitted to PSA, then yeah, go and Literally. do it. Watch it, watch it on times two if you want to as well. And then it's an hour and a half. <laughs> so, and yeah. we got high pitched voices as well. <laughs> it's quite a yeah. Yeah, I think there's, there's no there's no other place on YouTube where you can go and see that amount of cards. Full stop. So great gem of the place true, to go isn't to. It? That's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the Ariums is probably the only other one. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. Anyway, guys, go and check them out. Subscribe to me as well, please. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see you guys soon. Take care.